In this lesson, we are introduced to Sprite Lab and a bit of the basics of how code.org will work for us. Let's get going. This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Read the code, then make a prediction. All right, so we have, and we're going to be newer to this, so when run, set the background. Okay, so we got this graph background. Keep in mind, students, when you hit, uh, when you make a selection and hit run, you cannot change your answer. It is set. Um, and your teacher will have access to it. So let's think about it carefully. Make new red plane sprite at 100 and 300. Huh. All right. So this must be some of the plane up here. 100 and 300. If I hover my mouse up here, notice the teeny little X and Y next to it. So yeah. Okay. It makes this plane right here, I guess. Roughly, there's a magic graph behind this, I think, because we can check it. Make new blue plane sprite at 300 and 100. Oh yeah, 300. Okay, that looks right too. Sprite plane begins moving east. All right, well, never eat frosted Wheaties. So never eat. So east. So I think the red plane is going to go this way. Then what happens? Sprite. Okay, so this plane moves west. Never eat. Oh, so this blue plane goes this way. All right, so uh, both, no, they're not going to go there. One plane will move first. Nope. Both planes will move one space along the grid, then stop. Uh, it doesn't say stop, does it? They're not going to stop, I don't think. Now, make sure you understand this and go through it with me. Rewind or go back if you're not sure. Awesome. Onward. How to make a sprite. We aren't going to need that right now. Let's get going. All right, making sprites. To make a sprite, open the sprite category of the toolbox and drag out the block. Okay, click here to open a category. Sprites, yep. Yep, our work will be saved. And drag out, okay, make a new sprite, cool. And I'll drop it here, ooh. Connect, make a new sprite block under the win run block. Yep, we got that. So when we hit run, we're gonna set the background to this and we'll draw that. Choose a costume. Oh, I can choose? Click, ooh, shark it is. Hit run. Boom. Sweet. Onward. Each sprite has a location. You can set the location by clicking the pin on this block. Yeah, so if I hover over the screen, notice how there's a X50, Y350. And as I move around, this changes. So there's an X, Y graph uh, hidden behind all this. Find the new block in the locations category. Location. Oh, yep. 200, 200. Drop. Clicks right in. Connect it to the make a new sprite block. Yep. Click the pin on the location block when then choose a new position. So I'll just click this pin and I can just. Uh, I'm going to have a shark here. 80, 98. Yep. And cool. Onward. Now, let's add even more sprites. Do this. Click the image to the right to expand it. Oh, puzzle. Okay. Got it. Okay. And I see these. Okay, cool. Okay. X. Position each one in a different corner of the screen. Okay, so we got to pick up four new costumes. There's new costumes. Okay, cool. So, one. So, I already have one up here. Two, and make sure they all connect. We got four. Okay, I'm going to pick a shirt cupcake. Oh, and how do I move them? I got to click here. I'm going to try to get them kind of how they have them. So I think I'll leave that one as a banana. And this one uh, is going to be a cactus. Looking good. And I guess if I want to get really exact, I could mess with them. But that's looking good to me. Onward. Sprite properties. Sprites have more properties, including a size that can be set with code. Here are two sprites, but one is larger than the other. Use the new block in the sprites category to change the size of the second sprite. So we set a background. We're going to make a new flower sprite. We position it at 200, 300. Yep, great. Set size flower, right? So this to 250. Use a new block to in the sprites category to change the size. Okay, so sprites category. Oh, yeah, set. Drop it right here. Ooh, that's itty bitty. Um, but so what it's doing is as it runs, it goes through this, we make this flower, we make that flower, we change this size, then we change that size. We can do it to whatever we want. I might do it the same size. <laughs> Onward. 
Behaviors. Sprites can have their own behaviors, which are actions they will do over and over while, run while a program runs. To give a sprite a behavior, you need to use a sprite begins block with a behavior block. Okay, do this. Drag out a sprite begins block from the behaviors toolbox category. Okay, behaviors. Oh yeah, sprite begins. Drag this out and I need to make sure it connects right to these other blocks. Code runs in order. When I hit run, it's going to go zoop, sets a background, zoop, new sprite at, positions it, and then boop. And now what's the sprite? And we tell the computer, we tell our code what we're going to use. I want to use this sprite. Drag out a green behavior connected to the block in your workspace. Okay, I'm going to do growing. And so it wants us to connect it right here. So we have a background sprite, make new sprite at this location. We then tell the computer, hey, this sprite, we're going to go ahead and begin to grow. And keep in mind, code runs in order. So it first creates the background instantly, puts our sprite where we need it so fast we can't even see. And then this line's going to run where we say, hey, grab that sprite and next, make it grow. But uh, onward. Ooh, all right. Sprite practice. So um great work so far choose the next activity complete as many as you can keep practicing with your sprites if you're assigned this by me if you're my students we're doing all of them so i'll start with a desert scene add code to create a desert scene with different sprites you can click the picture to the right for an example okay i think i'll try to follow their example here cool do this make four sprites choose any costumes you'd like i'm going to try to follow their example so I'm going to go ahead and do make a new sprite, click, and okay, sun, I'm going to move it around here, maybe right up there by clicking the pin, and I'm going to, that's the location property, and I mean, I don't know, I might want to get perfect, but yeah, that looks good, okay, and then they have two cactuses, it looks like, okay, so I might change it up a bit. Whoops, grabbing wrong stuff I don't want here. You can just drag it off the screen if you click the wrong thing. Make a do. All right, so cactus it is. Oh, apparently not. Okay, so now let me click the pin. I'm going to put it's there, pin. We'll do right here. Okay, and now I'm going to do a plane. Make a new, drag and drop, and green plane each in a different corner of the screen. Change the size of your sprites to make the final image look more realistic. Oh, cool, and we know how to do that, right? We're gonna change the size property. So I'm gonna click on Sprites, Set, and I'll drag this down. Um, I'll probably make, let's see, I'm gonna actually move one of these cactuses back since we can change the size, and I'm gonna change it real small. Notice we make all of the items first up here, Right, we set them onto the screen and then we can change the size after. We first create the size 50. Yeah, good. I might want it 60 though. Let me move it a bit. <laughs> and it changes both of them, notice. Cool. And then sprites, let's do uh, the plate and green. Oh, that's teeny tiny. I'm gonna have a really big plate. This is a huge special plane. And then the sun. Uh, I kind of like it how it is. Oh, that's teeny though. Um, 80? Sure. But, uh, beautiful. And code runs in order, right? So that's why we do a background first, and then we put our sprites on top of it, and so then they're drawn, and this is faster than we can even see. Draw a sprite, draw a sprite, draw a sprite, draw a sprite. Then what? Well, then we change up the sizes, because they're on the screen. If I did this, by the way, this is not what you want to do. Notice it doesn't actually change the size because we're asking it to change the size before we've even made the sprite. So you have to put them in order. Order batters. Onward. Resize the fruit. Okay. Code to create strawberries and banana sprites is below. But the sprites are the wrong size. Change the size of the sprites. The banana is bigger than the strawberries. Oh, okay. So sprites. I'm going to just grab this set size property and drop it here. Now, the tricky part of this is you might be tempted to drop it way up here. However, you have to have the banana made first. So code runs in order. And 
If it runs in order, it's faster than we can see, but it first sets the background, it makes four, three strawberries, and then makes a banana. So if I want to change a size of a banana, I have to make sure since it, when I click run, click bloop, goes through all these steps, then we can change the size. If we have set the size up here, the computer doesn't have a banana. It has no idea what we're talking about. We click run, it sets the background, makes the strawberry shape and says set banana size. There's no banana and it just keeps going. And that is why we want to make sure to have this size block beneath our banana block. And we need it larger. So 150, is that? Let's go 250. Huge. I don't know, maybe 200. Cool. Bigger than the strawberries. Onward. Oh, use the set size block to make the strawberry straight smaller. Oh, I even missed that line. So cool. We can do this more. I'll do that above the banana block just to keep things in order, I guess. It's not super important. Boom. How about 50? Let's see. That looks right. Right. Yeah. All right. Animate the sailing ship. Oh, movement. Make a ship sprite and have it sail across the water. So first we're going to place this ship on the screen. Sprites and make a new sprite. Boom. Okay. Uh, make the sprite. Yep. Move the sprite so it sits upon the water. Yeah, this is kind of like underwater. We don't want a sunk ship. Maybe right here. Make the sprite move across the screen with behaviors. Okay, so I'm going to go over to these tabs over here. Click behaviors. And sprite, what sprite do I want to use? The boat. Okay, so I'll click and I'm going to drop it here. Now keep in mind, you have to have this underneath where we make it. Code runs in order. When I click run, it's going to win run. It starts here. It'll set the background to the ocean. After that, it makes the ship here. And it happens so fast, we don't even see it assemble this. And then we do an action. If I put this above it, the computer won't know what the ship is yet. Uh, okay, we need it moving. So I'll go back to behaviors and say... Uh, north, never eat, east. We'll move it east. Boom. There we are. Keep in mind, though, if I put it up here, right, the ship is created. Make new ship down here. So it's not going to do a thing. The order of code really matters. Bonus. Use a second behavior, such as wobbling or fluttering, to make the ship more lifelike. Okay. Behavior. Sprite begins. And again, I'll just drop it down here beneath where it's created. And let's try fluttering, I guess. Yeah. Onward. All right. Ooh, a breezy day. This one looks cool. A breezy day. There's already code to create the sprites. Add to the program to give each sprite a behavior. Add a sprite begins block for each sprite costume in your program. Pick behaviors for each sprite. Make the cloud move across the screen. So make sure we hit run and what happens? The background's created. This sprite's made. This sprite's made. This sprite's made at these locations. To do a behavior, it has to go down here, because these sprites need to be made first. So the cloud needs to move across. I'm going to click on the behavior section, drop it here, cloud. I'm going to click on the behavior section. It says sun. Make sure they connect, sun. I'll click on the behavior section and the butterfly. Now, this isn't going to do anything yet, because sprite cloud begins nothing, right? That doesn't do a thing. We need the cloud to move across. Behaviors move across the screen. Okay, anyway, I guess, so I'll do east. Sun should spin, behaviors. Spinning left, I guess. The butterfly should wander, behaviors, wander. And notice, we tell it, the costume or the sprite, which sprite, the butterfly, what are they going to do wandering? <laughs> cool, all right, bonus. Use additional behaviors to make the butterfly appear more lifelike. Okay, so what it means by that is we can assign more behaviors. I just have to do another sprite begins block. Pick the sprite, and now I can pick any behavior I would like. So, fluttering? Yeah, right? A butterfly would flutter. Cool. Yeah! Victory! Onward. Cool, we got those done. Ooh, free play. It's your turn to create whatever you want. What kind of project would you like to make? Now, what's kind of neat about these is I wasn't going to demo one of them, but pick what you like most. I'm going to do happy food, but you could do the space scene. You could do the fantasy scene. In all of them, we're going to create a scene by choosing two or three, I would say three sprites, then picking a size for some of them, and then a behavior. So let me demo with the food one, but you could choose whichever one you like most. 
Now it's your turn to create whatever you like. Do this. Add sprites, give them costumes and locations. Set the size of your sprites so they look the way you want. Bring the sprites to life with behaviors. I'll do my sprites first because you have to create sprites before giving behaviors. So sure, I'll do a broccoli and a hamburger. And boom. So now that I have created these, I'm going to go ahead and move them using the pen. Click. And click. And click. Now, I think the hamburger and the taco are good, but I'm going to resize the broccoli. It should be a bit smaller. Broccoli is not as big as those. So I'm headed to sprites and set. Notice, though, the first thing you want to do, when I click run, the background's made. All the sprites are drawn. Now, underneath where I make the sprites, then I can do stuff like change the size and change the behaviors. Mm, let's do a Yeah, that makes a bit more sense. Maybe. Okay. Now, behaviors. Cool. So, sprite. And again... I have to make the sprites first. Now I'm going to down here. I can give them behaviors. I'll have the broccoli do something. This guy do something. And this guy do something. What am I going to have him do? I don't know. Grow. Sure. It's a plant, right? Uh, spring. Shrinking. Nah. Wandering. Sure. Let's see what that does. Spinning right for a taco. And now I just have to make sure to select them. <laughs> Cool. Love it. Onward. Aquatic. So these should all be similar. Yep, do this. Add sprites, give them costumes, set size. Okay, so no matter which one you choose, students, these all should have the same stuff. So now it's your turn. Add sprites, give them costumes, set size, bring them to behaviors. So you pick the scene that you like, right? And you're going to do the same type of activity pick some really cool sprites give them uh change up the size and give them some behaviors and like i just did in this example make sure you create your sprites first then if you want to change their size then you can do movement this where you do the setting of a property and the behaviors doesn't entirely matter you could have them like that like this above and it would still work but let's go with the standard that we have been doing just make sure you create a sprite before you try to change anything about it. Good luck. Onward.